That's great. Just straight to the camera. That's lovely. And again, nice big smile. Lovely. One more case left. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Last time I went to Glastonbury, I um, I got what did I catch? Some really bad, nasty disease of some description, and I had blisters running down my face. I think it was some kind of horrible sexual disease. Horrible and, sexual yeah, disease. Yeah, and I was working at a bar, as a barmaid in the holidays at the time, so it wasn't so great. How old would you have been at this time to come home? I was, I was, I was still. It was still in the days where you could jump the fence, and my girlfriend jumped the fence with her rucksack on. That's not skills and broke her leg as well <laughs> so all in all had a terrible weekend. it was really bad yeah no, i mean i think everyone should do the glastonbury thing sure. would i ever go again no do i think no. festivals are for me no and do i understand it when sort of middle-aged people go oh i'm gonna go and do festivals and bring the whole kids oh, and no, everything no not, not good. a festival person i'm not a festival person but i don't know if i'm a boat person i'll find out right uh, i don't really do boats and uh, i thought about wearing i've got a bit of a foot thing anyway and i, sure. I, I definitely have ugly feet I've been disca- discussing I with another girlfriend disagree. about the feet thing. Well, and when they're naked. So I was going to come in a Veruca sock. You know, then- like, <laughs> we have Veruca socks for kids. Yes. I thought a couple of Veruca socks might be just the look. So, so yeah, so I had brain surgery and my husband, so I wasn't allowed to cut, uh, to wash my hair, rather. I wasn't allowed to go in yeah, the shower of because of the scar. So it's my husband got the uh, kitchen scissors from the hospital and cut it all off. The funny thing was, when I started off this whole brain surgery lark, I said, I won't care about my hair. It doesn't matter. I don't need hair because mm-hmm. I'm one of those people. Yeah. Obnoxious. And I am not my hair. Bullish. Mm-hmm. I'm not my hair. I'm more than my hair. I'm, I'm, I don't even care what my face looks like. And it turns out hair does matter. And I've learned quite a lot Are about that, actually. That? Yeah, I've learned. I don't know, but uh, maybe it's vanity and I, I accept that. But actually, I think maybe it's just women have their hair, like we have glasses. Like it's like yeah. a first line of defense yeah so i get that now and i understand a lot more about maybe women that have lost their hair for whatever yeah. chemo or whatever it's yeah. a that's a really big moment yeah. to come up with their hair did you feel yeah. emotional about it not emotional but just you do feel really sort of exposed without it. it's an odd thing so i adopted a bobble hat for the entire winter <laughs> and now i'm starting with this